Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be a short video about the Activity Monitor on your Mac. And it's a web app that allows you to um, monitor what's going on. So I get uh, a lot of questions about Macs being slow, and one way to do it is to clear your cache on a Mac, which I've done a video for, and a lot of people have seen. Another one is to use a tool that will show you what's going on. Now, how do you find it? You go to your Finder, go into the Applications folder, come down to Utilities, open it up, and you're going to see Activity Monitor App. Double-click it, open it. So here it is. Now, what this app will tell you is, up here on the main bar, I use these two columns. One that tells me what the CPU is doing, which central processing unit, and, uh, and, and then what's going on in memory. So in a CPU, what you can do is come down to this area back down here. And this is going to show you what uh, is going on with your processing unit. So uh, currently, I'm not, nothing is open, so my CPU is 86% idle. I am using right now 7% uh, of it th with whatever apps are, are active, which is, in this case, ScreenFlow. And then uh, the system is using 6%. If I start loading in programs, this is going to change, and we'll see that in a minute. But this is one way you can see what your CPU is doing. Now, on the left-hand sidebar, you can see what apps and what programs are chewing up in terms of CPU. So you can see ScreenFlow up here. This is the current uh, piece of software I'm using. And then you've got it, the dashboard and other internal system, uh, an activity monitor, a system files and programs that are sending instructions and using some of the CPU. Everything here down below Dropbox is not using anything. It's all closed. So these are all the active systems that are using some form of the CPU. On the right-hand side, the next one is, is memory. Now, again, you want to come down here in the bottom and take a look at this box at the bottom. This tells you how uh, your memory is being used. Now, this is an old machine, so I only have 4 gig, and I've maxed out my memory. So memory being used right now is 2.35 gigs. The cache has got one gig and uh, memory app application, physical memory allocated by apps and system processes is using 1.4 gig. Wired memory, that's physical memory containing data that cannot be compressed or swapped. So that's hardwired memory that goes into, uh, from these programs that goes into your memory, whether you, you know, like it or not, it can't be compressed. And then right down here, physical memory used to, to store a compressed version of data that has not been used recently. So this is almost like cached memory. So this will show you how much memory is being used, how much is cached, how much is being used by, uh, by the apps or the system, and then the cached memory is fi files and purgeable app data cached into unused memory to improve performance. So it will remove and put some programs in caches so that your memory is used more efficiently. So this is a way, this is a tool that you can use to take a look and see what programs, again, if I come up here, I can see that it's mostly operational stuff that's using memory. Dropbox is, is also using it. It'll tell you what programs. Now, if you've got a real memory hog, you're going to see it here. You'll see it down here, memory used, and then you'll come up here and take a look and see what's hogging your memory, and then you can take some action. So between the CPU and the memory, and the information box on the lower sidebar of the screen, you, Activity Monitor can come in really handy in helping you out. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Pallon from Affiliate Store Online. Stay with it. Stay well. Talk soon.